let's look at who actually uses Linux. The US government and its agencies at the level of national, state, federal, and international, they use Linux. And those agencies are uh, such as FBI, IRS, and many of the other agencies. Then we have NASA, National Aeronautics Space Administration. They run most of their uh, computation platform on Linux operating system. So they also, they, they're not only the user of Linux, they also contribute to the Linux uh, source code. They So every time there is an update or there's a patch, uh, they also add to that source of the patch. Then we have healthcare environment, for example, hospitals or even scientists, they use Linux to come up with the newer uh, discoveries in the medicine field. Uh, bullet train in Japan, which runs at the speed of 150 to 215 miles per hour, they run their platform that does the application that controls the train that runs on Linux. Traffic control, many countries in the world are implementing traffic control, different methods, for example. They have cameras, so every time you uh, break a light, a, tra a traffic signal, it takes your picture. And how does it happen? There is an application behind it, which sends the movement of your car, and that application runs on Linux. Financial institutes, for example, New York Stock Exchange, all they do, their tradings, their, their, their trading platform applications running on Linux. Entertainment industries like cinemas, production houses, and many other entertainment industries. Uh, worldwide e-commerce leaders, including Amazon, eBay, PayPal, and Walmart run their platform on Linux. So for example, if you go to www.amazon.com, dot amazon dot com and the first page you see which is a web web server that web server is actually running on a Linux operating system and many other fortune 500 companies such as Google IBM McDonald's and Facebook and many many of course that I cannot add them to the slide runs on a Linux operating system